This island is called Agaiksen, or Harwood Island, and it means pointed nose. This is a very famous hunting island. It's full of deer with no predators. And I'm here with my dad, and I'm here with my two nephews. And uh, you used to take me here when I was a little boy, a lot, to go mm -hmm. hunting, not for a long time, because I've been in the city. But uh, you take these guys out, and go look around and find some deer. It's the most beautiful island there is. I used to hunt this place pretty near every day when I was about 15, 16. Come over here for three or four days and go home with a bunch of deer meat. My grandmother thought she was the richest person in Slough Avenue with all the food. <laughs> that was their money, right? Clams, fish, deer. So before we used to just get up and hunt, but now. Uh, yeah, they, you need all these. We need permits and. Uh, permits and stuff like that. It's just a money grab from the government. That's all it is. <laughs> They don't care if you die or not. Eh? <laughs> See the little tracks? That's a little deer from last year. And that must be the mother, pretty big. When you have tents, as I say, we used to just pitch it up on top of the flat there. And you can see a long ways. Let them come to you instead of you running all over the place. We could sleep right there between the logs. Yeah. Nice yeah. soft sand. <laughs> Evan used to sleep in between logs when he was growing up. I don't have a gun. I'm just going to chase it. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh... You can't hunt anything in the concrete jungle in <laughs> Except pretty women. <laughs> It'd be nice to get the grandkids to walk up. It'll turn into an open field, or it used to be. I have a hunting story. Remember the time we were out <laughs> digging clams at Wyatt Bay? And we were there for how long? Four or five days? And our last day we were digging, and I looked up and there was a deer walking around. He knows how to shoot. Go get it. I shoot him in the behind, just behind the ear. And <laughs> He went, oh my God, he was took him so long, long. Finally, bang, <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> so he come back to where I was digging class. He said, what took you so long? But when I got up there, he says he was looking at me. <laughs> we were staring at one another. <laughs> he said, you told me not to shoot anywhere but behind the ear. <laughs> so he finally dared to hurt and he shot. <laughs> Yeah, I could have shot him between the eyes, but he didn't tell me to shoot him between the eyes. <laughs> he said behind the ear. <laughs> so we're uh, here at Vivian Island, yes, on the south coast of uh, British Columbia, and we're going to go jigging, eh? Right. You're going to teach us how to jig for cod. Yeah, just pull the rod up and down. And but, uh, jiggy, jiggy. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a little more to it than that. Like, uh, what lure, what hog? Our lure is kind of small, a little, little too small, because we'd be drifting quite fast. We're in very shallow water on the far side. It's only about 20, 30 feet of water. Okay. And that's where the um, cod is. Oh, there's a size limit, though, right? If it's too small, we'll throw it back? Yeah. Well, you we'll cut the sides off and throw it back. Oh. You didn't hear that. <laughs> and we're law-abiding Indians. When you get caught, you say, I can't read, I'm Indian. <laughs> oh, I didn't laugh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> and the cod season are um, in their spawning. They're sitting on their eggs now. The female the lays it, the male guards the it. The male guards it. And the female, they can go up to about 10, 15 pounds. Uh, what kind of cod are they? Ling cod. Ling cod. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm. Our language. He could jig till the cows come home. Look at all the seals. Yeah. It's hard on the ocean. It is. Oh, there it is. Oh. 
Ah! Oh! She got a nibble. Might have been BC. Oh, it might have been BC. <laughs> Meaning he snagged the he snagged the dirt. Should have had a uh, cod by now, but I guess they're not biting, eh? If you want a codfish, you just get out there and do it. Just go out and do it. No more excuses. So I take it back. I guess you do have to know a thing or two, like uh, which way your reel is moving yeah. or is winding, which of the little flippers turns it this way and that way. The rod can be complicated to use. But I, it's not brain surgery. <laughs> It'll keep you warm. Yeah. <laughs> How am I doing? You're doing all right. <laughs> you gotta watch it. When it hits the ground, you'll see the, you'll see, you'll feel going slack. slack. Eh? Yeah. I remember. But they're not biting, otherwise we would have had some by now. Oh! <laughs> you got one? <laughs> no, I'm just acting. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at that. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, after hunting and fishing, and we got nothing. I'm hungry. We're gonna have fish and chips. Wow, that looks good. Yeah. Hmm. We'll just pretend we got it. No. No? Oh. We caught it after the camera broke down, huh? Oh, that that's right. <laughs> well, bon appétit. We're trying to uh, encourage uh, young people to go back to uh, some of their physical activities, like hunting. Oh, yeah. You need a big whip. <laughs>